Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of English with Gemma, where we turn English practice into progress. Today, I'm recording outside. I'm in Bermuda, my home country, and I thought that this episode would be best outside in nature. Um, but I'm kind of regretting that decision because it's very, very humid today, but that's okay. Um, I just woke up from a 27 minute nap and I kind of feel like I'm in a different dimension. I pretty much need to nap every day because I'm very tired all the time. Um, and I read online that the best nap length was 27 minutes because it doesn't allow you to get into like a deep sleep and you're supposed to wake up not groggy, but I always wake up groggy. Um, and I'm kind of, yeah, I still feel like I'm kind of dreaming. Um, but that's kind of good for today's episode because today we're going to be talking about a very big deep, quite intense topic, um, consciousness. I've decided to title this episode, The Mystery of Consciousness, Science, Spirit, and AI. I am a, a person that's very interested in neuroscience, spirituality, religion, consciousness, energy, and nowadays, AI because AI is becoming so prominent in our day-to-day -day lives. And I think it's very interesting. So I've kind of tried to weave that into this episode as well. So today we're diving into one of the biggest mysteries in the world, consciousness. What is it? Where does it come from? And why does it feel like something to be you? We're going to look at this topic from a few different angles. Like I said earlier, science, spirituality, and even artificial intelligence, AI. So if you've ever wondered who or what you really are, stay tuned. Now, I'm not an expert. And that's what I like about life and the experience of living. It's that nobody really knows anything. We all have our different theories, we have our religions, we have our ways of life, but I think that's what makes life so beautiful is that just the mystery of it, like we really don't know anything for certain. And that's why being alive is so beautiful and getting to experience life is so amazing because there's just so much that we don't understand. And that's what it means to be human, in my opinion. So let's start with a quite simple but very strange question. What is consciousness? Consciousness is your awareness, your thoughts, your emotions, your experience of the world, and it's what makes you feel alive. You're not just a machine reacting to the world, but you are aware of it. But here's the thing. Scientists don't know how the brain works, and they don't know how consciousness really works. Of course, we understand a lot about the brain. We understand neurons, chemicals, electrical signals. But we still don't know why that physical activity creates a feeling. Why do you feel happy when you laugh? Why do you feel pain or love or sadness? So that's what the philosopher David Commerce calls the hard problem of consciousness. Now, I kind of want to share something personal. I've always been fascinated by this question, not just as a teacher or someone who loves science, but as a person who I would consider myself quite spiritual. I would say that me personally, I was raised Christian, and then I went to a Catholic boarding school. I attended church every single day, but I wouldn't consider myself a religious person, but I'm deeply interested in religions and I think that religion is a beautiful thing. And I'm kind of torn between being agnostic, which means someone who believes that we can't truly know 
if there is a God or not, the existence of God is unknowable in this physical lifetime and in this reality that we're living in currently. So I'm torn between being agnostic and omnist, which means that I believe there is some truth in all religions. So I don't really know, but I enjoy the not knowing. And even though I don't follow any one religion, I do have a strong spiritual personal practice. I meditate, I connect with nature, I believe in the universe, I feel energies all the time. Um, and I do believe there is a higher power. There's something bigger than us and this, something that connects all living things together. To me, consciousness isn't just about neurons. It's also about energy, intention, um, and maybe even soul. I know that's not very scientific, but I think both science and spirituality have something really important to say and something that I really enjoyed when I went to boarding school in England. Um, as I said, I was in a Catholic boarding school. We had to go to church um, every morning for an hour, but our reverend was very interesting because he was extremely religious. Obviously, he was a reverend, but he was also the science teacher at the school. So I, I absolutely loved him and was just fascinated by him because he would approach his teachings in such a unique and interesting way. And he really married the two ideas of religion and science in a really unique way. And I'll never forget him. So I think that might be one of the reasons why I'm so interested in this topic. So now I want to talk a little bit about the brain, the self, and neuroscience. So let's get back to the science for a moment, shall we? Neuroscience has made huge progress in understanding the brain. We know which areas of the brain are responsible for memory, language, and emotions. And we can even see brain activity in MRI scans when someone is dreaming or meditating. But here's where it gets really weird. Your brain is not fixed in one shape or in one arrangement. Your brain changes all the time. And this is called neuroplasticity. Neuro meaning the brain, neurology, neuroscience, and plasticity meaning something that can be molded, something that's flexible and shapeable. This relates to the brain's ability to adapt. Your thoughts, habits, even your beliefs can literally change your brain. So if our brain is always changing, then who are we really? This is one of those questions that just keeps me up at night. Are you your thoughts, your emotions? Am I my body? Am I my soul? Am I my brain? Like, or is there something just way deeper underneath all of that? Let's talk about artificial intelligence. AI, like literally the system that helps me to write my podcast scripts, is getting really smart. It can write poems, solve problems, and even carry on conversations. But is it conscious? The answer is not yet. AI does not have emotions. It doesn't feel anything. It can simulate thoughts, but it doesn't have subjective experience, at least not for now. Still, as AI becomes more advanced, we have to ask, what would it mean for a machine to be conscious, could that ever actually happen? I mean, there's so many movies out there about it, like Transcendence and with Johnny Depp. I love that movie. <laughs> um, there's loads of movies about it and there's, you know, loads of ways that that could look. But some scientists think, yes, if we build the right kind of system, consciousness might emerge. Others say no because they believe that consciousness might be something special that only living, breathing beings can have. And I really just truly think that it's one of the most fascinating debates of our lifetime. So where does that leave us? To be honest, I don't have the answers. <laughs> this episode was more just about speculating and bringing up this topic as something that I would like to kind of discuss my thoughts on and I would like to kind of stimulate your mind and, I mean, 
probably you think about these kinds of things, but maybe you haven't really thought about it recently. And I just kind of wanted to bring up that question and create kind of a discussion. And I would love if you guys commented down below and kind of shared your experience or your opinions on consciousness, spirituality, religion, and AI. Can AI become conscious at one point? What do you think? Um. I love the mystery. I love that we're still asking these questions after thousands of years. We've never really cracked the code, so to speak. And to me, consciousness is a meeting point between science and spirit, between facts and faith. And maybe we're more than just our brains. Maybe we're energy. Maybe we're part of something much, much bigger. So whether you believe in science, spirituality, or both, I think that question really connects us all. And I think it's something really interesting that we can all think about. So thank you guys so much for listening or watching today. Um, I hope this episode gave you something interesting to think about um, and maybe a few new words and phrases in English too. So if you enjoyed today's topic, let me know. You can message me on Instagram. Um, you can comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And thank you so much for listening or watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you want to say hello? Oh, 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 you want to say hi? Say something. Say something to the microphone. Yes. Oh, hi.